Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the process of generating the return files for Provident Fund or PF. PF return filing is a monthly process where the details must be uploaded to the department every month. Before starting, ensure all the employees applicable for PF are enabled and the relevant information like PF number, UAN, etc. are recorded along with the salary processing for the required month. Go to the PF ESI Reports option of Statutory Reports under the Reports menu. Select the Financial Year and click on E-Return. Select the PF Group and click Edit in the PF Group Details. Select your PF Office name from the list and click Transfer. Next, save the details and click on ECR. In the Return window, select the Financial Year and the Month for the Return Filing. Now click on port and then click on e-return which will port the details and generate the return file. You can view a text file and an excel file. The text file will contain the details of the employees PF which must be uploaded to the department portal. You can also verify the details by viewing the excel file. If arrears were also given to the employees in the same month which also had PF contribution, the same must be uploaded to the department. Select arrears and follow the same process of porting the details and generate the e-return file. The generated text file must be uploaded to the EPF portal using your EPF establishment login credentials. This completes the process of generating the return files for the Provident Fund or PF. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.